Tyson is a big name in the foods industry. And with the stock being down around 50% from the all-time highs, maybe it is the time to look at the stock. First of all, we can see Tyson has a good overall long-term growth trend. However, they do a lot of acquisitions, so it's not all organic. They can afford these acquisitions. Overall, their debt has stayed around $8 billion. Sometimes it's a bit more down, but overall, they can afford the acquisitions. Share count relatively flat overall. Sometimes they do a few buybacks. Now, why is the stock down this much? Well, we can see at from the gross profit, their margins have just been squeezed. Margins usually in the high 10% are now down to 4%. Profit margins in the negative. And now we gotta think, is this permanent in the industry or is this gonna improve? Pilgrim is somewhat comparable. They have less of a market share than Tyson and also they offer fewer products. We can see, however, their gross margin has also been squeezed a lot. Tyson, however, has been hit harder just because they make a lot of money also from beef and beef has really been struck hard recently. So I would say it's an industry-wide problem. Their biggest income is prepared foods though. Revenue slightly grew there, mostly just due to volume. They've had to lower prices a bit. Their margin has stayed fairly the same. So you can see that the consumer is not willing to pay as much anymore for prepared foods as they were before. And that kind of maybe shows for weakness in the consumer right now. And overall, I would say if we look in maybe five years, I think this segment is at least going to do well again. They're not losing market share here. Volume is growing. Just the issue is that the consumer is very weak right now and they're trying to save money. Chicken volume and prices down. However, they achieved a higher margin here, which is good. Beef, they have been able to increase sales, lower volume, but their margins have shrinking drastically. They're not making any money. In fact, they're losing money on beef right now. Pork has been good, but this is just the thing. All these different segments, they change from time to time. Some segments might be doing good. Some segments might be doing bad. When it comes to pork, chicken, etc., all these things are very volatile. So of all, when we look at Tyson, it is not really a company problem, but an industry-wide problem in the packaged food industry, in the beef and pork. And it's not like they're about to go bankrupt from this. They're kind of break even to making a bit of money right now. However, most of that is going out in dividends. Ever since they've not been doing too well, they've kind of slowed down with dividend growth. I think this is going to pick back up once the industry is going to do better. So in this case, we have to wait for the consumer to improve. However, the question, will it improve so much that you go back to these 15% or 10% gross margins? Because if it improves back to the situation of maybe 2021 and you go back to $7 in free cash per share, you're paying at around 9 multiple right now for Tyson Food, which is very attractive in my opinion. So let's do some calculations, see if the stock is maybe worth the price right now. Is it going to recover back to the old margins or is it even going to grow from now on? Or is it going to go below old margins and going to stay at that place? Well, let's do a few calculations. Let's say it goes back to the old margins, around $7 in free cash per share, a bit lower than before, but let's keep a margin of safety. They're going to be able to grow free cash at 6%, involving acquisitions, natural revenue growth, maybe some buybacks here and there, 15 multiple at the end, and a 30% free cash flow payout ratio with a little deduction due to taxes. Then we would come to $83 a share. Currently it's at $61, that would be a decent buy. Now what if it goes even better? It covers to $8 a share. So it would have grown as in trend before. 8% growth rate, 18 multiple, $130 a share. Here would be a fantastic buy. What if it goes worse? $5 free cash flow per share. It recovers to lower levels. The industry is going to continue to perform poorly. 4% growth rate and a 12 multiple. Well then, $42 a share. Now, what do I think about Tyson? Maybe it would have been a good buy a few months ago. Around the $45 mark, we would have nearly hit the low point of our estimation. Now, do I think it's a bad buy right now? No, but there are a few risks with the company still. I'm definitely going to keep it on my watch list. If it falls even further, I might add it to my portfolio. It's a decent company that is not too risky. It might already shoot up instantly and I might miss it, but I don't care about stuff like that. However, I think it has a decent upside, limited downside, and overall, it will be a good buy at this point. What do you think? Write down below. Have a good day.